The Medical Research Council is funded by the government as an annual grant from the government. The Clinical Trials Unit is one of the units within the Medical Research Council and our aim is to carry out clinical trials in a range of areas with the aim of improving outcomes for patients with important diseases. Alongside our clinical trials activities, we also do other research activities that include systematic reviews and meta-analysis, which is basically the idea of putting together all the evidence from different trials around the world to see what the uh, result is. We do observational studies, which aims to look to see whether the results that we see in trials are actually translated into practice and we also, quite importantly, do research into better ways of doing trials. Can we do them faster? Do the, can we do them better? Can we get more reliable results? We work with a wide variety of international partners. In fact, if you look across all of our trials and studies, we're collaborating with 81 countries worldwide, and allowing us to study diseases that are prevalent in rich countries such as cancer and diseases which are prevalent in poorer countries such as HIV. We carry out trials particularly in the area of infections and cancer. We carry out large trials, particularly trials that answer questions not just about drugs but how to use them, how to manage patients. And we do our trials in collaboration with many partners around the world. The Clinical Trials Unit trials are different. Why do we at the Clinical Trials Unit need to do that study? The trials that we design and then run are unlikely to be done by many organisations either in this country or overseas. We try to find new ways of speeding up this very long process of, of assessment of new treatments. The Stampede trial is a very good example. In that trial, we are testing five new approaches to improving the outcomes and the survival of men with prostate cancer. The NLive trial is another challenging trial which the Clinical Trials Unit is doing. About 40% of all prisoners are heroin addicts. The NLive trial is trying to assess whether the drug naloxone, which is an antidote to heroin overdose could be given to prisoners as they leave prison to use in case they have a heroin overdose. There are many trials units around the UK. I think um, what demarcates the clinical trials unit is probably the nature of the trials which are often quite large, quite strategic. We don't just answer questions about drugs for example. The work around the world is really where the disease is. So I work in HIV infection in particular, and 90% of children with HIV infection are in Sub-Saharan Africa. So for the last 15 years or so, I've been doing a lot of trials in Sub-Saharan Africa. So the DART trial, which was published actually in 2010, was a six-year-long trial looking at um, how to best roll out treatment in Africa to HIV patients, that this is adults, with minimal laboratory um, availability. So we did a trial looking at more clinically managed patients versus doing the more complicated laboratory testing. When I first started doing clinical trials in children, which is more than 25 years ago now, it wasn't as accepted to do trials in children. I mean, people talked about, oh, well, you can't experiment on children. I feel extremely strongly that uh, the result of not doing trials is that children were being given medicines, for example, that haven't been properly tested for children. You need to know the right dose for the child, you need to know about side effects for the child, and you need, I think, to run those kind of trials in parallel, once you've got that information for adults, with really seeing whether the drug works. So, for example, a, a trial we're going to be starting fairly soon in collaboration with some of um, our colleagues in Kenya is 
about blood transfusions for children with anemia in Africa, which is, and anemia is very common, but nobody's really worked out how much you should actually transfuse. Even as a medical student, I think I was aware that the gold standard in trials in the UK was, came from the MRC, and that's what you look for. Um, and as an oncologist, um, I know that the MRC is still one of the major clinical trials units in the world. In my view, I think the MRC have worked fantastically well in trying to answer the, some very difficult questions and important questions. And they may not always be the questions that the pharmaceutical uh, industry would like to have answered, uh, but they are ones that matter to patients. They've addressed some of the most difficult questions to answer that, that face uh, the patient population.